What Happened to All the Snow? Presented by Science at NASA. Winter seems to have been on hold this year in some parts of the United States. Snowfall has been scarce in places that were overwhelmed by the white stuff by the same time last year. Mammoth Mountain in California is a prime example. The Mammoth Ski Resort got more than 200 inches of snow last December, says NASA climatologist Bill Patzert of the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. This December, they got less than 10 inches. It's not only skiers who are put out. Sled dogs are troubled, too. My huskies just don't understand what's going on, says Tony Phillips, a NASA writer who dog sleds in California's rugged Sierra Nevada. Last year, we had more than six feet of snow to work with. This year, it's just bare dirt. Temperatures have flip-flopped, too. There were 583 heat records broken in the first five days of January in the U.S. It was 86 degrees in Los Angeles on January 4th, says Patzert. Everyone thinks it's July. In fact, it's warmer today in L.A. than it was on July 4th. And it's been in the 60s and 70s even in the Dakotas lately. Similar reports are coming from across the United States. What's going on? Patzert identifies two culprits, La Nina and the Arctic Oscillation. First of all, he explains, we are experiencing a La Nina pattern of sea surface temperatures in the Pacific Ocean. This pushes the jet stream and the cold Arctic air northward. On top of that, this year's Arctic Oscillation has been stronger. The Arctic Oscillation is a seesawing pressure difference between the Arctic and lower latitudes. When the pressure difference is high, a whirlpool of air forms around the North Pole. When the whirlpool motion is weaker, like last year, cold air escapes from the polar regions and heads southward to the U.S. This year, the whirlpool has been more forceful, corralling the cold air and keeping it closer to the pole. That has reinforced La Nina's impact. While the corralling action of the Arctic Oscillation has kept snow away from parts of the contiguous United States, it has brought extra snow to places inside the whirlpool. Snowy storm tracks are pounding Alaska, says Patzert. This is the flip side of the absence of winter in the lower 48. Cordova, a small coastal town about 150 miles east of Anchorage, has been especially hard hit. More than 18 feet of snow has fallen so far this winter. Snow dumps are full, roads have turned into one-lane snow canyons, and National Guardsmen have been sent in to help residents dig out. The sled dogs of the lower 48 don't need that much white stuff, but they'd like enough to cover the ground at least. Be patient. Don't sell that new dog sled yet, advises Patsert. We haven't gotten to the heart of winter. There's plenty of time for the Arctic Oscillation to weaken and bring us some snow. After all, he points out, it ain't over until the Siberian Huskies sing. For more Howling Good Earth Science news, visit science.nasa.gov.